Bye y'all. So I wasn't gonna make this video, but then today was such a boring day that I decided I'm gonna stop putting off my Scooby project. Remember when I bought these um, Scooby spools? I bought two spools, the transparent glittery one, this one, and that green one that I just held up. And I said I was gonna make a choker. And the reason I've been putting this off is because I injured my middle finger on my right hand, but I thought about it and I was like, you probably don't need your middle finger to tie these strings because you're probably just using your uh, pointer, pointer finger and your thumb. So I think I can do it. So I just made it longer in case of complications. I'm gonna watch this YouTube video and see if I can figure out how to start this. And yeah, I know, I have my hair like, it's like clawed up, I don't know. What is that called, a hair claw? That has my hair up, so that's why it looks all weird. I feel like I look like um, a Japanese anime. It's a look. The box stitch is one of the most basic stitches in the mix. So if you are a beginner, I highly recommend it to you to see this video. Tabby, come here. Today, let's begin. Let's begin. First, we're going to take two strings, and you're going to find the center of it. And the second stage of the strings. And what? the second hand? Oh. And you take them with one hand. Huh? <laughs> Rewinding my ground, and, but... and here it's supposed to be the center of strings. Now we're turning one of the strands so that it's cross the other strand. Then we take rewind, okay, wait. And now putting it with the thumb. No, rewind. And take it with no, one rewind hand. again. Hold one edge of strings. With one hand. And the second edge of the strings. These are so slippery. The second hand. Then we take it with one hand. Now we're turning one of the strands so that it's cross the other strand. What? And now holding it with a thumb. Now I'm going to take one of the sides of a strand. Now I'm going to take a blue string. And I'm going to take the side of this pointing upward. And we move it over the orange string. Okay, move this over. Now I'm taking the other side of the orange string. The blue and over the blue. Over the blue. And now I'm taking the second side of a blue string that I didn't use. Huh? Which one's the one that I didn't use? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Um, Lanyardy. Thank you. Guys, look. Ta -da. I think this is the beginning. Woohoo! How do I continue this? Like, literally? Where is my, my old one? Okay, my old one looks like this. I'm supposed to be smart enough to figure out the next step on my own, apparently. Uh, huh. I think I need another video to teach me how to do this. <sighs> All right, yes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. She has a good idea on hers. She did like a little class B at the end. Let me ask my sister for one. Happy round 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 happy round 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 I need tweezers I need tweezers tappy Like, I already gave her two meals today. You already got two meals today. Your next meal is at 10 o'clock p.m. And it is 8.15 right now, Tappy Poo Poo. That's not 10. 8.15 is not 10. Why are you always meowing at me? She doesn't like it when I give attention to anything that's not her. 
right, Tappy? Come up here, Tappy. Boy. Good girl, Tappy. Good girl, Tappy. Good girl. Meow. Yes, good girl, Tappy. Meow. Meow. This is actually, this is hard to do with no middle finger. I take back my original statement. This is difficult. No, I'm not. No? I'm creating a necklace. Okay, see? This right here, that's from the Scooby. That's like my uh, sacrifice for making this choker. Hola. So, um, this is how the Scooby is coming along. It's pretty, pretty long now, like, but it's actually really painful to make it. Like, pulling the plastic strings is like literally so dangerous to your um, hands. It's just difficult once you get, I think it gets harder once you get to the, like the more you go, it just gets harder to pull it. It just, it's harder to get it tight. I'm just watching Emma Chamberlain videos and doing this very, very slowly, taking my time with it so that I don't uh, give myself any more blisters. I'll give you another update when I'm getting closer to finishing. Today is the third day on this project and I just really don't know what to do at this point because I know this is not long enough to go around my neck. Should I combine these two or should I just start over? I kind of don't want to start over because it already took me so long to make this and I ripped my skin up to do it. Maybe I'll just try to combine it with this one. Like, what? What's that gonna look like? Okay, so... I cried a little bit, got my makeup on finally, and my sister helped me do this. She like kind of tied these two together. Um, yeah, because neither one of these is long enough to make the full necklace. And this will probably look weird as a necklace, but at this point my, my hand is just so injured that I don't think I'm going to restart or make any more of these because the plastic really actually hurts my hand. I'll probably make more stuff in the future but not in the near future. So I'm gonna just cut off all these like tiny strings and hope that it just stays together and then fashion this into some sort of choker length necklace and hope that it turns out good. Um, and if you're wondering why I was crying, it's just, I don't know, sometimes I just have negative thoughts and then I cry. Okay, there we go. Cut one. Can you see this? Oh, wait. So I've used up like a whole tissue box today because of allergies. So that's fun. Okay, there you go. I mean, it, it's 
still could be cute. Things don't need to be symmetrical to be beautiful. See, on this end I've got like, this is like a green strap from probably one of the clothes that I bought. They always give you these little straps so that you can hang it. Now it is my job to tie a lobster clasp and I don't know how to make a knot so let's see how this goes. And I wanted to have Tappy in the shot so this is the angle. Why is my head cut off? Okay, whatever, I don't care. It's not a toy, it's my project, Tappy. Okay, moment of truth. Let's test this. If this works, then I will cut off the excess string. What do you think? I mean, it's a little bit cute, I guess. Okay, so I think I can cut off this part and that other part. I don't know why I keep doing peace signs these days. I've just been watching so much Emma Chamberlain and she's like super super extra and like cringiness is like kind of her brand or something and she always just does funny faces to the camera so I don't know I guess that's why I started doing this so much <laughs> right Kathy? and yeah so this project didn't go exactly as planned because I wanted to be able to make it a scooby all the way around but this is, you know, I think this is still a pretty good try, pretty good effort, A for effort, considering my hand being all messed up. And plus I got to attach my little small seven-year-old, uh, not seven-year-old, but the one I made when I was seven. Ah, Tappy, what are you doing? Boondoggle choker, kind of like Melanie Martinez style. This is what I came up with and I'm gonna be proud of it. Bye. Bye. This is what Emma did in one of her videos, so like literally I'm copying her right now. She went like this, 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 this. <laughs> okay, whatever, bye. <laughs>